can't touch this. Thank you for purchasing the Smart Touch Finger Activated GDO. Before we begin, please ensure that you have all of your GDO components within reach and that you have a power supply handy for the relay unit. Make sure that your sensor unit and relay unit are three feet apart. This is important for proper pairing. Let's get started. Step one, install four AAA alkaline batteries into the sensor unit. Do not install lithium batteries. This will damage the sensor unit and void your warranty. Pairing the sensor unit. Connect the programmer to the sensor unit and lift the sensor unit cover. Press OK on the programmer and OK to enter setup. Press the learn button on top of the relay unit, then press OK. Did the light on the relay unit turn off? Press 1 for yes. Did the light on the relay unit turn on? Press 1 for yes. Did the light on the relay unit flash? Press 1 for yes. Congratulations, units are paired. Press OK. Creating administrative users. Administrators are able to do factory resets and also add or remove users. Choose the number associated with the administrative user, then press OK. Swipe finger in a firm, flat motion across the entire sensor. Programmer will prompt you for three successful swipes. Following successful enrollment, programmer will display processing image. Press OK to add the administrative user. You will now be asked to enter a four digit PIN code. Press OK to update. You may add access users in the same manner as administrative users. Installing the relay unit. If you were replacing your existing switch, simply remove the old switch and connect the two wires to the terminal screws on the back of the relay unit. If you are initially installing your relay unit, please follow these simple steps. Once your location is chosen, tape the relay drill template to the wall and mark the center of the two mounting eyelets on wall. Install screws into the wall at marked points and leave a 1 tenth inch gap between the screw head and wall. Place the unit on the wall to test that it mounts correctly. Remove the unit and the template from the wall and proceed to attach the CAT3 wires. Have your Phillips head screwdriver ready. Loosen the screws on the back of the relay unit and take the ends of the CAT3 wire and bend them into a small U shape. Hook them around the screws and tighten. Do not allow wires to contact opposite screw terminal. Now snake the wires through the channels on the back of the relay unit. Replace the relay unit on the wall. Attach power cable to relay unit and plug the other end into the power source. Now run the wires to the back of the garage door opener mechanism. Please disconnect power before proceeding. Connect the opposite end of the wires to the dry contact ports on your garage door opener. Please refer to your garage door mechanism's user manual for appropriate ports. Before connecting, you may cut the CAT3 wire cable to your desired length. After you have completed the wiring, check to ensure all connections are secure. Once you have checked that all of the connections are properly wired and secure, reconnect power to the garage door mechanism. Choose a location on the outside of your garage that you would like to place your sensor unit and test to ensure it is in range before installing. Tape the sensor unit drill template to the desired location and install the two mounting screws, leaving a 1 tenth inch gap between the screw head and wall. Then remove the template. Place the sensor unit on the wall and locate your locking brackets. Insert the locking brackets on either side of the sensor unit. Now test your GDO to ensure it is paired and working correctly. Thank you for purchasing the Smart Touch GDO. Please visit our website for information on our other Smart Touch products.
Before I went